Well, police have arrested a Portland woman alleging that she and her partner are connected to crimes that date back as far as two years. The couple is suspected of burglarizing post offices, robbing mail carriers at gunpoint, and breaking into someone's home. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us from one of the post offices that was burglarized with what we know so far. Earlier this year, investigators say surveillance video captured a Portland couple allegedly stealing from this Southwest USPS Center. One of them climbing the fence and using a sledgehammer to break in and steal a large tub of mail. That's really scary. You don't want your personal information out there, and if people are doing that, don't like to hear it. Court documents show 43-year-old Melissa Ann Maxwell was arrested October 3rd at a Vancouver hotel. A warrant alleges she's connected to two USPS Center burglaries in Portland over the last year, where police say she and a person who is believed to be her partner, 43-year-old Corey James Jackson, who has evaded police in Vancouver and is still at large, were captured on surveillance video, breaking into post office buildings and stealing parcels of mail including more than $1,000 in cash and more than $600 in checks. Well, Portland's gotten a little weirder in the recent past. Following Maxwell's arrest, a search warrant to the vehicle believed to be the same one Jackson used to evade police was obtained. And court documents show photos of several items inside, including U.S. mail carrier keys and a pellet gun, a weapon that may have been used during three mail carrier robberies happening over the last couple of years. Photos capture carriers being held at gunpoint, Earlier this year, police say Maxwell confessed in an interview with investigators that she and her partner robbed a home in Tigard, stealing a safe that contained firearms, which the couple then used in their crimes. But I don't like weirdos running around stealing and robbing and doing any of that. The man and woman are also suspected to have robbed four Portland area marijuana dispensaries at gunpoint, taking place over a roughly three month span. It's very concerning. I mean, I, I feel really bad for these dispensaries. You would just want to be laid back going to the pot shop for sure. Mm -hmm. Together, the two were charged with a laundry list of things, including robbery, kidnapping, coercion, and it doesn't stop there. As court documents show more than 50 counts of criminal activity, the couple is charged with, many of them including the use of a firearm. It intimidates, yeah, it sure, it scares me, intimidates me. I mean, I don't want to be robbed anywhere, and um, that could be standing right here, so no thank you. One of the men we spoke with says he wishes more dispensaries had security at the door. Meanwhile, Maxwell was arraigned about a week ago and pled not guilty. Her partner does remain on the run. Reporting from Southwest Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.